Explorers used to travel in Bedford trucks with wooden benches for beds. Today's vehicles come equipped with a mattress and then some. Just because it's winter doesn't mean we can't go camping. In fact, it's a great reason to. Overlanding has become very popular over the years, but if you're going to venture into deepest, darkest Africa or a caravan park in Paul, you better make sure you're very well prepared. This right here is what we call glamping, true top billing style. We're taking camping and we're taking glamour, we're putting them together. Camping doesn't necessarily mean we have to rough it, especially for someone like me, I'm not used to this type of thing, but this is a four by four pimped out to the absolute max. You are not gonna believe what is packed into this baby. It already looks robust and manly, but let me show you how much is actually hidden under all of this. So we've been roughing it through the terrain of Africa for the whole day, or we've been doing the short commute from Cape Town to Paul. You want to sleep, but you definitely don't want to be pitching a tent. The cool thing about this baby is you open it up, it's nice and spacious. Take one step up, all you do is give it a little push, and the rest is done for you. It's got gas power, you just pull an elastic down, and your bed is ready. With all the comforts of modern living, this fortress of a 4x4 camper also offers a high vantage point for uninterrupted game viewing. Not to mention safety from uninvited guests. Great, so the cool thing is once the tent has pretty much made itself for you, you simply just pop up this part of the roof and you can access your bedroom because you've got to be careful of those wild animals out there like those vicious looking hardy dars over there. But this is it, the penthouse suite. You've got a nice big double bed, a room with a view. Super comfortable and cozy, 360 degree views. And if you're done with your nap or your sleep and you need a bit of room to move around, you just pop the roof up like that and you've got plenty of space. I mean, how cool is that? I'm a pretty tall guy. There's a lot of headroom. Look at the width of it. There's plenty of space to move around, get changed, and even cook a meal. If you're feeling a bit peckish, a little bit hungry, you just pop out the stove and make a meal. It looks like there's a bit of a storm coming in, but of course we've got that covered, <laughs> literally. The shelter rig is like a Swiss army knife, effective and easy to operate. If MacGyver went overlanding, this would be his ride. Now what makes this awning so special is, as you'll see now, it covers pretty much 270 degrees of the vehicle. So you've got a massive shade area over here. And it also keeps it a bit cooler. It's made from a very special UV resistant and reflective material. So it's at least five degrees cooler under here for the sunny days. But today we've got it up in time just for the storm. And if you head over here, it's one of my favorite little features. We've got ourselves a little kitchenette on the side of the vehicle. Coffee. I think it's time to take a couple of steps back and look at our creation. It only took about two minutes. We didn't tow anything, didn't take a lot of effort. And we've got glamorous camping right here. Have a closer look. At least I know I'm the coolest guy in the campsite. Make that the only guy in the campsite. Really? Behold the Godzilla of Overlanders, and in its cockpit, Jeremy Berg and Warwick Leslie, men whose glamping kit comes standard with a microwave, geezer, and the kitchen sink. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good, and you? How are you? How's it right new, man? Thanks for stealing my thunder, guys. <laughs> uh, well, what can I say, you know? We uh, thought we'd bring something special to the party and uh, show you up a little bit. <laughs> This is about as good as it gets. It's top of the range, you know, a fully equipped rig that can take you anywhere in the bush. It's hard, it's strong, it's built to take on Africa. I think it's actually a bit of a babe magnet, actually. <laughs> well, it does use testosterone. We've taken the ultimate German military vehicle, put the ultimate house on the back for overlanding. And yeah, it's got everything the customer wants, but I can't show you from here. Let's go take a look. It could have been just a pipe dream. Jeremy turned it into a company. Now, Jeremy, I've heard of some pretty drastic career changes, but to go from plumbing to that is quite something. I don't know. To me, it just seemed like a natural progression. <laughs> no, I've got to say that uh, I've always been tinkering with things and building and designing, and I built myself a, a rig for, the, for my plumbing van. I took it out on its first trip, and immediately people just came up to me and said, where did it come from, and what's this all about? And, and I thought, you know what, this is a lack of opportunity and maybe an option as a new career move. And, and that's where we started, you know. And we rolled on to a factory of over 100 staff now and, and, and this. <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that, that uh, we do. This is the fun part of the business is designing these kind of 
major bulls. This is seriously impressive. This is like the penthouse of overlanders. Yeah, it is pretty nice, I must say. I mean, it's almost like a caravan, but not quite. It's just built stronger and more rugged for proper off-road use. You can take it anywhere. You're not restricted to where you're going. Um, as you can see, we've got two fridges over here, which is pretty standard issue on most vehicles, but the way it's secured and locked in is just off-road ready. And everything is very, very secure, all the locks. Yeah, no, pretty much go over any terrain you want, and nothing's yeah. going to fall out. Th th that's the principle behind why we do things. Aluminium, nice and robust, yeah. very strong, yeah. and extra cupboard space, very important too. Uh, luckily not. Nice indoor shower connected to a 200 litre tank on board and no plugging into post pipes and so on and so forth, and uh, we'll be happy showering in about five minutes. Well, you know, sometimes it's nice to shower outside when you're in the bush, so, you know, that's what I've got. But if it rains later, I'm going to possibly have to come use this, if you don't mind. Only if you ask nicely. <laughs> Up yourself, marshmallows, anyone? Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Take the pink ones. If I do, ooh, pink. You have to have <laughs> pink ones. Thanks, guys. You are the most awesome neighbors, apart from showing me up. But I've been honestly so impressed with what you've done. We've seen where it started. We've seen where it can go. But uh, the sky seems to be the limit for you. We, we're seeing a trend nowadays that people are, are just wanting more. They're wanting more comfort, more luxury, and it's bringing, it's opening the market right up. And let's face it, we've got a beautiful country. We need to see more of it. And with this kind of a rig, you know, is this really roughing it? I think it's more why we've got glamping, huh? If you're planning a trans-African epic or a weekend escape, this is definitely the way to go.